This week we're talking about sarong skirts. It's a measure of how very cyclical fashion is in the way it works that you can almost tell how close something is to a comeback by how very far it has fallen out of fashion. And by that measure, I think we can see that the sarong skirt is on the verge of a huge comeback because nothing has really fallen so far out of fashion. I mean, people don't even really wear them on holiday anymore. I think it was a kind of 80s, 90s thing where it was very much the kind of a good holiday photo look, a sarong. And now, you know, you have to go to Topshop and get like a beach cover up. It's like a whole new beach look. You don't even wear them on a holiday. I think the thing about a sarong skirt is that we all love pencil skirts, well, I love pencil skirts, I love pencil skirts, but you can't really wear them kind of in a kind of easy summer kind of way. You really can't wear them on holiday because you just feel steady kind of like hobbling along in a, in a pencil skirt. It doesn't really work. And a sarong skirt kind of has the same silhouette, but it's a lot more easy to move in, gives you a lot more freedom and a more natural walk, which is always good. These are Lanvin and Albert Elbers at Lanvin has been one of the real pioneers of bringing the sarong skirt back. He loves a bit of draping. Um, it's very flattering on the hips, which is no bad thing. Um, this skirt is very much similar to this and it's quite smart and you can wear it like we've done this today, like with a silk blouse and then you make it look obviously like you're not actually just off the beach because you're wearing a silk blouse. This is another long van one. The black one is more daytime smart and this I guess is a real cocktail version. I love this colour. It's got a real kind of swag to it and um, a really lovely soft silk. So I mean, it is potentially a sarong as in a holiday skirt, but it's a lot smarter than that, really. A sarong skirt can obviously be something that you would wear like a sarong, you know, on holiday, over a bikini with a vest to go and have some lunch kind of thing. Um, here's one version. This is Peruna from Marks and Spencers. Obviously a little bit of an homage to Pucci. This one here is by a label called Circus. Uh, I like the print, which is like little goldfish sort of Finding Nemo chic, so there's a sort of subliminal beachiness to it, and really pretty colours, and a really lovely soft, um, silky fabric. And also, which is something to look out for on a sarong skirt, it does have a bit of coverage because some of them slightly annoyingly have uh, too much of a gap, really. So that if you kind of just you know take a, a little a little stride too far, um, you're basically showing your knickers, which is not such a good look. And then looking a little bit further ahead. This is a skirt from next autumn's Mulberry collection, just to show you that this silhouette is going to carry on to the next season as well. And then lastly, because I think it's nice sometimes to see where things have come from on the catwalk, this is from the Burberry collection that really, I think, started off the, the shape, the sarong swag. They did a whole section of pencil skirts that are kind of big ruching gathered down one side, which were just really so beautifully tailored that I think they gave everybody the idea of how nice the style can look again. So this is the dress version beautiful summer dress, I think you'll agree. Um, so there we are, the trend in its origin.